buongiorno, benvenuto alle show. Mi mangia pizza. This is family friendly. You press rec with finger on uh, camera? Oh my god, they will know the way I speak is not the English way. I'm sorry. Hi again, welcome to Through Minute John. And now the news. Send Facebook your nudes. No. When you're in a relationship, you sometimes feel the need to send your loved one flowers, maybe a love note, a box of candy, or a lovely pic. Because nothing says I love you more than a high resolution picture of your man stick. For some people. But what happens when the love of your life, the one that received the photo of your Mr. Pickles, decides to leave you and then use that picture to shame you on Facebook? Because, let's face it, your wee wee is nothing to be proud of. Well, now Facebook is rolling out anti-revenge porn measures in the UK in order to protect British users in this type of situations. Wow, that's so nice of them. Thanks, Facebook. I I really didn't expect this. I, I'm sorry for all the bad things I said about you. you. You're great. But how does it work? Well, in order to stop someone from uploading a picture of your sausage and beans so that all of your friends could see it, all you have to do is send those nasty pictures to Facebook before anyone else does. What? Como é que você me pôs com o p*** na Facebook, mano? Yeah! It's not a joke. Apparently, they tested this type of system in Australia and it worked. I think. Because Facebook hasn't given any in-depth details about it. But hey! Who doesn't trust Facebook with their data? Hmm. I can't see any good reason why you shouldn't send all your nude pics to Facebook right now. Just to feel safe. Right? I'm gonna do it right now. How the hell is this even an option? How can you trust Facebook with this? But in the first place, why would you send someone a picture of your chihuahua? Chihuahua? Yeah, I, I ran out of slang words for a uh, If you have any thoughts, leave a comment and let me know. I, I'm... Can you imagine the poor bastard that has to see all those pics? Facebook banned for one month. This is for you, Mark. Say hello to my little friend. My, my big, my big friend. Average friend. The Papua New Guinea government will ban Facebook for one month in order to take down fake users and study the effect the social media giant has on its population. Now that's another way to stop your nude pics from being posted on Facebook. You just stop Facebook all over the country. They say it will take one month and analysts will explore... Analysts. Oh. Yeah, sorry. Analysts will explore how fake news and pornography spreads and asses whether... Assess. Oh, yeah, sorry. Assess whether the country needs its own version of the platform. <laughs> okay. So this is just a cover-up for the PNG government to make their own social media. And I was wondering what could be worse than sending pictures of your plug-and-play device to Facebook. This. This is worse. Government controlled social media is very Kim Jong Unish. We don't know the exact date for when the ban will take place, but if you travel there and you find yourself in desperate need of Facebook, just get a VPN. And what VPN should I get, John? Well, John, I recommend CyberGhost VPN. Oh, wait, isn't this paid promotion? No, it's just friendly advice. Okay, for which I get money. But still, CyberGhost is great for your privacy and for accessing all online content. The Essential Phone is cancelled. Remember when we talked about the Essential Phone last year? The phone made by Andy Rubin, the co-founder of Android, that promised to be so great in so many ways. I mean, it was made out of ceramic and titanium. Well, it looks like they're gonna kill it and they're selling the company. Even though the design was beautiful, they sold only 150,000 units because it had software issues, the camera was bad, the $700 price tag was way too big for what it offered, and even when the price dropped at $500, people still lost interest. But I don't think that this is why the phone is dead. I think it's because it was the first phone that had a terrible disease. A virus that has spread to other phones. A virus called the notch. It was a small notch, but it infected other phones. 
many, many other phones. And it looks like soon they will all have it. And guess who will join the zombie notch infection? The Pixel 3 XL! Oh. Oh, Google. Yep, the latest leaks show what appears to be a screen protector for the Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL. And the XL has the notch. This is serious. This has got to stop. We need to do something before it's too late. Be oh no, 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 it's beginning. Oh my God, no, please stop. Stop. This was the show. Thanks again very much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment below. I'm John. Until next week, keep it safe and secure. Cheers. Anal log. Analog. Oh. Analgetic. Analgetic. Oh. Analphabet. In alphabet. Oh. Anal OG. Analogy. Oh, crap. I've been using all those words wrong.